I've actually got a really long history with this log, but I don't know much about it at all. Um, this log washed into our sandbar 20 plus years ago. I think I was a teenager at the time. And it wedged into the bank between a rock and a small tree and the river couldn't force it out when it gets up. The river is over our sandbar about six months of the year and um, the sandbar is out of the water about six months of the year. So this log is a sinker. It, um, it was underwater at least half the year for the last 20, 25 years. And when I started getting into milling, I decided to see if I could get it out of there. And I did, it was a, it was a chore to get it out. It took a, several snatch blocks, a lot of cable and running back and forth because I was doing it myself. But I got it out a couple years ago. I set it up on bunks to try to keep it from decaying as quickly. Uh, you can see the outside of it is very punky. I think it's still got some good wood inside of it. Don't know, uh, we'll find out. So I say I don't know much about this log, even though I've got a long history with it because I don't even know what species this is. It, it was all the barks off of it. It was pretty far gone when, uh, when it washed in. And the only thing I can tell is it looks like it was cut with a chainsaw there. And it actually has the root ball that has been weathered away by the river. So I think it would make an interesting slab if, um, if it's solid. And I don't know if it will be or not. So first thing I'm going to do with this log is go over it with a metal detector. Because it's been cut, um, that leads me to believe that it could be a fence line tree that was in a gully or something and washed out somewhere upriver. So we're gonna check that first. See, I've just got a little Garrett metal detector here. It sounds off on rivets and stuff. So if there is a metal fence post inside this log, at least in the first four or five inches, this should pick it up. If there's something that serious, I don't want to mill it. So far, I'm not picking anything up. There's also a risk in this root ball area down here that there could be rocks included. The roots could have grown around rocks and that would really dull my chain. All right, well, at least on this face, I think we're pretty good. We passed the first test, so I'll get the mill set up.
All right, so I got the tracks lowered by two and two and a half inches. I'm gonna try to cut 10 quarter and uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's gonna be solid. If it is, I think it'll be pretty. Let's see if we can get some measurements here. Of course, this down here is punky. A lot of that will have to come off. That's punk. That's actually pretty solid. This down here is solid, but it's starting to spalt. But all this is solid. That might be a little soft. And then here it looks fine. Hopefully this will get better as we go down, get towards the center. So edge to edge here, we're at 21 inches, 21, about 17. And how long is this thing? Uh, it's about eight foot. Usable, probably gonna be seven-ish, somewhere around there. See what we've got here. I felt it, I felt the saw head pull three separate times. It felt like I hit something. So it kept cutting, but I'll have to check that chain if see if I hit metal or anything. So this one, we're at about 27 and a half there, about 25. That's pretty decent wood. And up here, we're about 21. They should get, it should start getting quite a bit wider from here. It's really the next 
two or three slabs that I'm interested in in this log. That was a hard cut. That chain is getting pretty dull. I've got all this punk and rot and dirt and stuff down here. Going through this first dulls it. I think I've hit wire a couple of times with this chain. I'll say that's a good thing about a chain versus a, a blade. That 404 chain holds up pretty well to dirty wood like this. <clears throat> There you go. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So my concerns about this being a fence row tree, I believe are correct. I believe that's metal. That looks like old woven wire fencing. All these pits is wire. And then here, that looks like a staple or a piece of wire that I hit at a different angle. That may be something up here. That looks like a little more there. That's spaced just like woven wire would be. So quite a bit of metal in here. I think it may be worth continuing though. That color is pretty outstanding. I'll definitely need a new chain or to sharpen that one. So to give you an idea of the width here, I'm at 28 and a quarter there, about 27. About 24 and a half, and up here about 22. So the next slab should get wider up here, and maybe just a touch wider down there. And uh, as far as solid wood, that's a little soft. This is still hard. That's hard all the way down. Of course, the center here is pretty soft. That uh, tree had a lot of heart rot. I still don't know what species this is. It smells like red oak, but I'm not seeing any ray, ray fleck at all. Um, I don't know. If I get down a little further, maybe I'll start to see some ray fleck and that'll tell me it is a red oak. I thought that it would be some kind of a river bottom tree, like a sweet gum or silver maple or sycamore or something like that. But um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Pretty. I love the, the color variation, the change in the color as you go across. That's really neat.
think this one's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be heavy, that's for sure. Uh, it's kind of shaped like a boot. Oh wow, that's cool. That is super cool. Wow. Definitely getting more solid as we get in here. I'll show you this slab. The color is just outstanding. Still don't really know what species this is. See, I've got some spalt down here, but that's solid. I believe that might be some metal. <laughs> Quite a bit of metal in this log. The color is really, really nice. I believe that's a piece of wire right there, woven wire or something. This root section down here is really neat. It's almost completely spalted. So on the underside of this lab, there's a neat detail. That is a barb on barbed wire that is cut in half long ways. Pretty neat. That'll dull a chain very quickly, but it'll dull a chain less quickly than it would a bandsaw blade. So I'm gonna try to get one or maybe two more slabs out of this log, and then uh, it'll be getting punky again. I'll probably just call it quits at that, but this looks good enough that I'm gonna risk the metal. Um, if I hit a big steeple or a nail or something, it's gonna either damage or severely dull my chain, but this looks like pretty good stuff, so I'm gonna risk it. here. I think this is going to be the best slab in the entire log. That's really the one that I'm after. I don't know what I will do with this. It's going to be really hard to finish with all that metal. You can't plane it. 
it's got all this rot stuff that's going to make it a kind of an epoxy project unless you cut it short but i think the best feature of it is this big root flare so i don't know Gosh, that's heavy. <sighs> Where's the broom when you need it? Wow, <laughs> man. That's pretty sweet. Wow. That's gorgeous. That color is amazing. I don't know what that is. Sweet gum, maybe. Maybe some kind of a maple, silver maple. With a lot of color from the water. So yeah, this is turning out pretty cool. You get all these spot lines up here, plus wavy grain. That's probably compression figure. It's not whole bark inclusion, a little bit of rot. That's probably a metal staining, metal staining. All sorts of different colors in here from white to peach to pink, tans, grays, browns, reds. just neat you can see a line of old fence here all those little holes are wires from the old fence and we're getting far enough around I think it's got it on both sides now this may have been a corner post where they wrapped the fence around that is neat stuff so I get some measurements for you on this one width here is just under 36 inches at the midpoint we're at just under 30 and at the top we're at about uh 24 and a half then length on the short shortest point is eight foot five and from the bottom of the root flare to the top here is just over 10 foot two. So that's a pretty good sized slab there. I cut this one just under three inches. So I've got plenty of material to work with there. So guys, I think that this has gone pretty well. This is actually my first run with this mill. Uh, this mill's brand new to me. And that's one of the reasons I chose this log. I thought this was had a very good chance of being a junk log. And uh, I guess you could say it is because it does have a, a woven wire fence in it. But, man, the color in there is just amazing. I really don't know what I'm going to use these slabs for. If you guys have got any ideas, leave them in the comments. Of course, they'll need to air dry for two or three years and then go into a solar kiln. But um, with this big root flare on that big log, I am just envisioning like a wrap around a corner computer desk for my office. And uh, you know, you could do an epoxy project and square that up 
and that would be pretty cool. Um, that'd be pretty cool. If any of you guys know what species this is, you know, it looks sort of like some spalted sycamore that I've seen before with all those different colors, but I'm not seeing any uh, ray fleck in it. And I know sycamore has got ray fleck. I was thinking sweet gum with the reds and browns, but, uh, or silver maple. I, but I really don't know. The sawdust stinks like red oak. So I, I really have no clue what this, uh, what this log is. Well, that's going to be it for today. I'm down far enough that I can't lower much uh, before I start getting into some issues with my mill. So it's really time for me to flip this and set it on bunks before I can cut one final slab off of it. Um, I might get two, but uh, it just depends on the width. I know it's going to start narrowing down pretty quickly, but I think I can get one more pretty, pretty good looking slab off of here. And uh, I'll definitely do that. But weekend's over it's supposed to rain tomorrow so i'm going to get the mill put up while i can and uh, i'll get this lumber stacked and stickered and uh, get it in the dry guys i appreciate you watching if you enjoy the video give me a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one